Hey everybody, Garrett Pearson here, and welcome to day 38. Day 38 of the Software Secrets um, daily videos here on Facebook. Um, we also post them on YouTube, on our blog at blog.softwaresecrets.com. So welcome everybody, and today I'm going to be talking about minimalism. Okay, but first I want to thank everybody for watching these videos, and I want to ask you if you wouldn't mind clicking the like button and even the share button if you like these videos. It helps us know which videos you like. It helps us know which, what more we can do to help you build your software empire. So, minimalism. Last night, my wife and I watched a documentary on Netflix. And if you're watching this later, a couple years down the road, it might not be on Netflix anymore, but it is called Minimiz Minimalism, a documentary about the important things. Okay, so it's on Netflix currently. Um, I we watched it last night and it was awesome. Really good documentary about l living with less. Okay, so and and I'm gonna tie this into building software, but basically. Um, we are a consumption society, like we want more and where our houses are full of junk. Um, we have so much stuff and we can really live on less. And how does this apply to software? When you're building software in our book that Scott Bradley and I wrote that will be coming out in um, the spring 2017, so that this coming spring very soon, we talk a lot about less is best. Okay, less is best. And when it comes to building software, you need to build that, as I've said a lot of time, that MVP, that minimum viable product. And the only way you can do that is if you become a minimalist, essentially a minimalist in building your software. Do the least amount of items that you need to do in order to get your minimum viable product out there to the public. Now this is very hard to do. Okay, this is very hard to do, but if it's always in the back of your mind and you're aware of it, to be to do less, less is best, be a minimalist when building software, then you're going to build faster, you're going to take out all of the crap that you're, you just really don't need to start off. And a lot of problems that happen in software is uh, feature bloat. There's too much going on, there's too many features that people just don't even know how to use the software. It's just too overwhelming. So be a minimalist, less is best. Um, be very careful, and I've talked about you know, scope creep or feature creep before in the past. So a way to, some tips on, on how to do this is, if you have a good idea, but it's just not what your product needs to be the minimum viable product, then write it down somewhere. Um, what we try and do is have a whole nother Trello board, a whole nother Trello board that just has all the things that we really want to add to the product, but we just can't do right now. So keep it all in there so that, or in, in a, a vault somewhere where you can get to it later, but that's where all those, uh, those things that you don't need go. Okay. So that's one little tip, but let me tell you about, I've written four books now, okay, four books, and what I've learned, what I learned from really, really good authors, I wouldn't call myself a good author, but really, really bo good books are books that started out with three, four times the pages that they ended up with. The really good authors find good editors, and they work to edit the book down so it starts out really big, but they edit it down, and the best books and even the best movies are the ones that are edited down to be minimalist, minimalistic of what it started out to be. So that's what you have to do with software. You have to whittle down to and figure out just what is the minimum viable items and features that this software needs to go public. Okay, so go watch the the documentary on Netflix, Minimalism, and check that out and be a minimalist in building your software. Have a great day, everybody.